Okay, let's talk about the differences of senior life versus Lincoln Heritage. This is an oft-asked question that I hear from agents that contact me, certainly in a lot of threads and interchanges or exchanges between agents. So I wanted to give you my thoughts on this to better help you understand which route is best for you. My name is David Duford, owner of DeFord Insurance Group. I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, also Medicare and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. So let's talk a little bit about both companies. So um, first of all, this isn't gonna be a disparaging type of video. I earnestly want to give you my thoughtful opinions on the differences between each company. Uh, I know for a fact, uh, now I'm into my uh, later years, I guess, in recruiting. Uh, once I thought uh, some of these companies were garbage, I don't think that anymore. In fact, I think some of these companies uh, who are direct competitors to me are actually perfect fits for a lot of the agents that are out there. So I think it's important to empower you with uh, some things to consider uh, if you're kind of in a choice between Lincoln Heritage or Senior Life. And uh, I'm going to do my best to provide a fair and balanced uh, perspective on both. So a little bit about uh, Senior Life and Lincoln Heritage. Obviously, they're both final expense companies. They specialize in selling final expense burial insurance, uh, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. Uh, actually, Senior Life, the owners, Powell's, used to be a part of Lincoln Heritage many years ago before uh, going on their own and creating their own insurance company. Um, both have extensive experience explicitly in uh, the final expense market, and I would argue understand the market fairly well. Um, uh, Lincoln Heritage is out of Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, Senior Life Insurance Company is out of Thomasville, Georgia. They have uh, multiple regionals, offices nationwide with a lot of agents doing very, very well uh, in person, in the home, selling a final expense insurance and over the phone. So um, what kind of makes these two companies uh, different? Or in other words, what makes one better than another? Again, I don't think there is such a thing. I know that might sound silly. That's objective. I think it ulti ultimately comes down to a subjective difference. I think after summarizing all of this, you'll kind of see, yeah, okay, I can kind of see where David's going with this. Um, now, there, I would say there's some drawbacks of working with both. Um, if you decide to go with one of these two versus, say, an independent type of solution, like, say, what I do. Um, and that is in alignment with one particular company. Now, depending on the regional you're with, whether it's senior life or whether it's um, <clears throat> Lincoln Heritage, uh, you are either a agent that has to work with them exclusively or you can be a broker and sell their products but sell other ones. Well, the truth is, is that if you're going to work with one of these companies, my opinion is that you should totally commit to them um, because what they will provide you in benefits like lead financing, access to their lead programs, typically, not always, but typically requires your full commitment. And I think by fully committing to them, they're going to fully commit to you back. And I think that's what gives it the uh, best overall experience. But I think you know, considering that and that being the best way to do a relationship with either Senior Life or Lincoln Heritage, if you compare that to being an independent agent, that's also the big drawback. If you're completely committed with one company, you at specific intervals are losing out on closing business and helping people that you otherwise could, either by a pricing difference <clears throat> or by an underwriting difference. And what that manifests into is lower conversion rates, lower commission rates, and less people helped. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be successful with either company. You can. But this is something of a limitation that you need to be aware of. It just is the case. So um, this is why I ask everybody that thinks about getting into final expense to consider both the differences between, between being a one company agent versus a many company agent. <clears throat> Excuse me, now I'm back to normal. So um, that would be like the biggest drawback in my mind is accessibility to multiple products that give you competitive pricing or competitive uh, underwriting, whereas a commitment to one of these companies or the other would not necessarily provide that. And, um, you know, so what are the, what would I do? I guess that's the other thing to consider. Um, you know, if I were looking at one of these companies, and, and I find this is a common 
thread with any organization you're, you're going to join. You have senior life and you have Lincoln Heritage as if it's one ubiquitous, uh, homogenous group where every single agency, regional, thinks and acts the same way. And that's not exactly how it actually pans out. Um, what matters more is not the company as a whole. What matters most is who your direct upline is and what the values of that regional uh, office or the team that you're going to be joining is uh, and, and how that matches what you want to accomplish. Let me give you an example. There are multitudes, and I'm not necessarily talking about senior life or Lincoln here. There are multitudes of insurance MLMs out there that um, want their agencies to build an MLM type of system where they train agents not just about producing, but even more so about recruiting and then training those new recruits to recruit other people. And so the training is more predisposed to recruiting and team building versus producing and skill development and selling. And I've always had a problem with that personally, although you may not have a problem with that. And that's my point. If your goal is to say, in my experience, learn the craft of selling insurance, make sure if you're choosing between Lincoln or Senior Life that you pick one of those organizations that best matches whatever your goals are. If that goal, let's say, is selling insurance and learning from a master how to sell insurance, to me, that matters more than is Lincoln Heritage or Senior Life a better company. They're both good companies. They have programs that take an average person, help them become above average as far as success goes. Um, what you may think, especially if you're an independent agent and you don't necessarily like the idea of working with them, the fact is, is they've taken a lot of people who were flipping burgers two years, five years ago and turned them into great income earners and helping them in ways that that person probably would have never received. So there is a tremendous value that they do in bringing people into this business and helping the policy people out there who need life insurance that otherwise wouldn't get it. So that's where I'm going with this is think less about X versus Y or senior life versus, um, you know, uh, Lincoln Heritage, but then interview the actual offices that you're going to be working with. Talk with the actual uh, upline you're going to be joining. Go on a ride along with them. See what the business is actually like. See what they do. Do they actually walk the talk or are they just empty suits that are recruiting? This is what really is going to be the difference maker between which one of these companies is going to be best. And when you find that company that best fits whatever your particular uh, goals are, which I hope personally that you want to sell this stuff more than recruit, at least initially, because what business do you have tra training somebody when you don't have any business uh, experience? So um, that's how you're going to determine who is better than the other. And frankly, that's how you determine joining any agency is what does that agency bring to the table? And do I have an affinity towards the values, not that they talk about, but actually deliver on, okay? So hope that answers your question. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe, like, and comment below. Happy to have you uh, leave a constructive comment and I'll answer personally. Should be links above and below if you want to check out how my agency works and learn more if you're a good fit for what it is that I do. And until next time, my name is David Duford at Duford Insurance Group, where I take agents and help them become top producers. We'll see you next time. Bye.